Hi, this is Vicki Robinson, and today I wanted to show you two of my favorite ways of selectively changing color, both in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Both of these tips uh, will work in either program. Um, a customer asked me how she might change the uh, book paper uh, color. Um, these, even though these are sort of a neutral uh, book paper, the colors didn't really go with what this customer wanted to do. So I set about trying to find sort of the best way to recolor that. It's a little difficult because you see what I've done is I've put some uh, gesso on top of these before I scan them and torn them. Um, so that can make recoloring a little tricky. But I do have two ways that work and I wanted to show you those both. Let me show you first in Photoshop and let's just sort of get rid of this one. Um, the first way uh, you probably would already think of, and that's to add a hue saturation um, adjustment layer. So with my layer selected, I'm going to choose the adjustment layer icon and add and say hue saturation. And uh, what you'll notice in the dialog box is that you have an option to uh, change the hue and saturation of the master, which means the entire document. So watch what happens when I change this. You see that it's also subtly changing the um, subtly changing some of the gesso as well. Um, that might work for you depending on an element, what the element looks like. That might work for you, but really what I want to do, and I'm going to undo this, set these back to zero. Uh, what I want to do is I want to specifically change these various colors of brown here. So I'm going to, from this drop down box, I'm going to choose yellows. Now, so I'm telling it to target what it sees as yellows in this image. And then when I change the hue, you see for the most part it is leaving the uh, gesso alone. It's not trying to change the white. So let's come over here and see what we do here. Now a cool thing that you can do with this is that you can click on the little plus eyedropper and target another color as well. So let's see if I add this color and then change the hues. Am I getting anything different? So your results are going to vary on the color changes that you get. And obviously you can change the hue saturation, the sliders here for lightness and saturation as well. So that's one way uh, you can change, selectively change color. That's by using a hue saturation adjustment layer and then targeting the specific color family that you want to change. Um, I suggest a hue saturation adjustment layer because you can always undo that. You can always get rid of this layer if this isn't really what you wanted. You can delete this layer and your original has been untouched. If you do a hue saturation directly on top of the image, you've made a destructive change and you can't change it. That's meaning if you come up here to, let's see, image, adjustment, uh, where would it be? Oops, I'm on the wrong layer here. Image, adjustment, hue saturation. You see that's not adding a layer mask over here. So the changes I make are destructive. You've had to undo or start with a new copy of your document. So using the uh, hue saturation adjustment uh, icon here on your layer panel is always a better idea uh, to be safe. The other thing, uh, and my actual favorite way of changing colors, is by coming up to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color. You're presented with a dialog box that's showing, we're working with this one here on the left-hand side of the screen now, that shows you your image, and it shows you in this box, it's showing you, um, it's going to show you changes you are going to be applying to just the selections that you've made or to the entire image. So if you see, if I click on image, um, it's showing me exactly what I have here. If I click on selection, it's going to show me what is currently selected. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, click on this color picker and I am going to, from the top box here, color picker, choose the color that I wanted to attempt to change. So I'm 
choosing this color to change and then uh, and say okay and then again I can choose my little eyedropper here and say and try to get this color too and watch how this box up here change slightly it's trying to come up with sort of a color blend of the, the colors that I've added to know what to change from the bottom color picker I can then come and say open up my swatches let's see if I can get something that's not going to make me throw up here I choose this color here and say OK from here I can adjust my fuzziness slider that if you watch the um, preview here you can see that I am it's showing me how much of my image is going to be affected by this color change so I have a little bit of manipulation I can do here as well to include or exclude more pixels from my change now one of the things I'm seeing here which you may or may not like is that it did not pick up these little brown stains here and um, so that must mean that th that color must have been outside the color family that I was looking at so I'm gonna try just to experiment and see what can happen I'm gonna come back to this click on this little color picker again and I'm gonna add this brown to that color range and you see it instantly changed that as well so there you have it just say okay now the one thing about this is you can't change uh, you have to be careful about changing uh, two sets of colors. What I'm showing you is to basically change one set of colors. If I wanted to come back to this now and also change the white gesso to a different color or try to, I would click OK and then come back and say image adjustment replace color. Replacing white can be very very tricky but we can try. I would open up the top color picker to show color it is now and then you see it doesn't it's, you know we see our eye sees that as white but it's obviously not really white it's some form of sort of gray Let's see if we get that any better and say okay and then come down here and choose another color let's say I wanted this to be purpley see we're not gonna we're not gonna be very successful in this because it's white we're working with uh, I don't think we'll be very successful in that it's gonna come out looking really gray and dingy so Again, if you if there is something of a different color, though, you might be successful in changing it this way. I just wouldn't attempt to change white this way. Let me cancel in on that. Okay, so that's two ways to change uh, selectively change color in Photoshop, either using a hue saturation adjustment layer that targets the colors, the main color families that you'd like to change, or coming up to image adjustment replace color. That's uh, Photoshop. Let me uh, switch over to Elements real quickly because it's, it turns out that this is one of the very few things you do exactly the same way um, as you do in Photoshop. So this is my active layer. With the layer selected, I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer. And then again, I'm going to choose not master. I don't want to change the whole thing. I'm really looking just to change the yellows and then I can adjust my hue saturation sliders till I get to the color that I'm looking for. Let's change this a lot. You know, and if you really want to get adventuresome, you can muck with these colors down here. Okay, so that's how uh, that's a hue saturation adjustment layer in Photoshop Elements. Close this up. And it, as I said, it turns out in Elements, and this is Elements uh, 2018, but I did check and I know that these same steps work as far back as Photoshop Elements 11. My computer can't handle any earlier versions than that. The Mac won't support anything earlier than 11, at least that I was licensed for. So at least from 11 forward, I know that these changes will work. And in this case, you'd come up to Image, I'm sorry, Enhance, Adjust Color, replace color. And from here, although the dialog box is slightly different, it's almost identical to what we had in Photoshop. Uh, you do make sure your preview is checked so you can see your changes. Make sure selection is checked so you can see what your options are. Click the color top color picker so you can tell it what picture uh, color you want to change and say OK. And again, you can even add another color range. Let's say I want to change that too. And then click the bottom color picker 
and you may go to your swatches if you want. I have my swatches up here. You know, some colors are going to be easier to change than others. Let's see, that's okay. Say okay. And again, you have the fuzziness slider that controls how many, how many pixels this is actually applying to. You see in the window here, everything that is white is what it's attempting to change. Uh, I think fuzziness here. See if I go too far, I'm not really getting the effect. So in this case, I need to come up a little further. In this case, as I'm looking at these, I might say that this hue saturation slider, at least in elements, was probably more successful. It really just is a matter of your personal taste, what is giving you the look that you are really looking for. So there you go. That's how you change, selectively change colors of an element using two different techniques, a hue saturation adjustment and a replace color in both Photoshop and Photoshop elements. Thanks for watching.